So the other day I was creating my vision board in the new split organizer, which is the planner that I've been using every single day. I love it. I modified the original look of the pages a lot and I did this by using some of the extra elements included with the organizer. So I decided to go ahead and make a video showing you exactly how I did all of this. So if you have some time today to sit and relax and watch my process of how I create a vision board, let's go. So first I want to show you that I have already saved the photos that I'm going to be adding to my vision board to camera roll, but I will also show you how you can find images and save them so you have them ready for your own vision board. And for that I'm going to use the app Pinterest. Now Pinterest is pretty customized to my liking, so I just have to open it and I'll see all these colorful and interesting photos in my main screen. But anyway, if you want to search for something specific, you just go to the search bar and you can write down anything that you are interested in. For example, I like this idea. So I click on the image and I can just screenshot. So I'm gonna do a screenshot either by tapping the top and volume up buttons on my iPad, or I can also just drag my Apple Pencil from the bottom left corner to do a screenshot. And then I'm just gonna make this smaller just to have the photo, I don't want anything extra. And then I can just click on done and then save to camera roll or what I prefer doing is clicking here on the share icon and then click on copy then delete the screenshot because I don't want to save it to my camera roll open good notes go to my vision board tap and hold on the screen to click on paste and that's going to bring in this image so you can do that or you can first go and save a bunch of images to your camera roll which is what I did here and then have them ready for when you need them but before I start adding all of my images into my vision board, I need to uh, modify this page. And you can do that with the tools provided in the extras downloads. So that's gonna be this icon right here. I'm gonna go there. I'm just gonna quickly show you what you can use. And these are the extras included with the split organizer, which is the document that I'm using. This is in fact not a planner, but this is the one that I use the most. And that's why I'm doing my vision board here. And you do have a section dedicated to a vision board within the organizer. So I'm just gonna bring in my little extras uh, window here to the right just to show you the different options and what I'm going to be using now is my pages. So VR, because this is the VR version of the split organizer, I'm gonna open this folder and here I have pages that I can use to cover the original page of the organizer. So instead of having my, my page be white, I want it to be pink. So I'm gonna drag on this one right here and this is a pink page that I can just resize to cover the original white page like this and then I want to have like a smaller page on top here so I'm gonna go back to my extras and that has to be this one here the big one because what I'll do I'll show you I'm just gonna drag it onto here I'm going to make it big again okay and now this time I'm gonna crop it because I just want to have half of the page be yellow before I crop this out I'm going to copy this so I'm gonna select this and click on copy I just want to make a copy and now I'm going to crop it. So click on crop. I just want to get the bottom part, something like that, because I want to maintain the drop shadow at the bottom. So click on done. Bear with me. This is a little strange process, but you'll see in a second. Then I need to repaste this same image. So just tap and hold to click on paste. And now I'm going to crop the top part because as you can see, this also has a little shadow that I want to keep. So I'm going to tap on my image tool to select on the image and then click on crop and then just crop out the top part somewhere there done now i'm gonna bring this top part here and as you can see i'm gonna complete the page and i can choose to have it a little bit shorter somewhere there okay now i'm gonna go into landscape mode because i want to open another document i want to open a second good notes window here and I want to open my wonderful sticker book. And in fact, sorry, what I need to open is the notebook. So wonderful notebook. This is the same document as the sticker book, but it doesn't have the stickers on the pages because right now I don't want the stickers. I only want the colored pages. Okay, so what I'll do here is I'll just find a color that I want to use. I think I'm gonna pick the purple one. And again, I'm gonna just take a screenshot because I want to use this background of the page as a colored card or as if it was washi or something like that that I can just add to my vision board just to decorate. So again, I'm just gonna copy this, delete the screenshot because I no longer need it and I can just paste it here. I'm gonna crop it a little more to make it longer and I need to make it bigger. 
around there and then I want it to be here behind my yellow page and it gets a little tricky here to manage all of your layers of images so you don't have to make it as complicated if you don't want to I like the way it looks and I'm used to managing uh, layers so if you want to follow along go ahead so I'm gonna select the pink page and the purple strip but I also selected the yellow part I don't want that so I'm gonna put this strip a little higher and now uh, let's see if I can just select these two without the yellow page. I was successful, so I'm gonna click on these three dots and then go to send to back. And now I should be able to have this tape be behind the yellow part, like that. Now I'm gonna go to another color of page here, this pink. Again, take a, a screenshot and then crop my image. I want like a vertical section, something like this, and then copy and then just delete the screenshot and then tap and hold and paste like that and now I want these yellow pages to be at the front so I'm gonna select them and then arrange bring to front and then the top part should also be in the front so arrange and bring to front I'm gonna look for another page here this yellow one and seriously, I've been using this notebook so much to use the color backgrounds. I use them for my Instagram stories and now to decorate my planner too. So that's an unexpected little advantage of this uh, notebook or sticker book. We copy and paste right here and I can make it a tiny bit bigger. Now for this particular piece of colored paper, I want to have a little outline. So I'm going to go and select my pen tool on the ball pen setting and then I want a color to be like a little dark yellow or mustard color and then I'll just go around. My square is so bad, but good notes will help me, you'll see. There we go, it'll snap into shape, but I can still go and click on my shapes tool to adjust my little square, make sure it fits right and adjust it like this. I want a little blue part for this section, so I'm gonna go look for my blue page right here, probably this one or this other one, I think. And then screenshot, copy and delete, paste, and I rotate it like this. One more little square because I feel like something's missing here, so I'm gonna go uh, on this page. I'm gonna screenshot it, make a little rectangle, copy, and then paste here, like this. Now I want to use this purple bit that I have back here. However, I am unable to select it with my lasso because there's all these layers uh, stacked on top of each other. So what I'll do is I'll just copy and then I'm gonna go to another page, any other page, and then I'm gonna paste that. And I'm gonna delete what I don't need. So here I do have space to do so. So I'm just gonna grab these and then delete them. And now I can grab my purple piece and bring it back here. You might think it's a little bit of a complicated process and it is, but you know, it's fun and you get to decorate a lot. So now that I have my page exactly the way I want it, I'm gonna start adding text boxes and images to complete my vision board. So the first thing I'm gonna write here is I'm just creating a text box over this uh, blue part that says my 2025 intentions. And I want this to be in the font Mireya. All right, and then I'm gonna center the text. I don't want this to be a capital M looks better like this and I'm gonna make it white and I'm gonna make the text a little bit bigger and I'm just going to center this now I'm gonna use my pen tool with the white color and I want this to be a little bit um oh my where is the the thickness setting what happened here oh <gasps> it disappeared where is it let's see okay now it's here what happened it wasn't here was it okay anyway so I just want to make this thick because I just want to make dots in here like this just to decorate dots make everything look so cute and actually they might be too big let's try this size instead yeah i think it's a little better so i'm going to just delete these other ones and then just make little dots here going back into split view here because i want to bring in some of the stickers of the wonderful sticker book which i have open right here and I'm going to head to where I have my letters, right here. Now, I do not need all of these letters, but I'm just gonna copy them all anyway, and then I'll get rid of the ones I don't need. So I'm just gonna copy, and I don't want to paste them here because as you know, I have a bunch of images stacked already, and it's gonna be like a problem to start moving them around. So I'm first going to arrange them in a different page, and for that, I'm gonna go to my help section in my organizer because I have this dark page that I can use. So I'm gonna paste my letters over here. Now I'm going to start arranging the ones I need. So I'm gonna write vision board. So I'll start by selecting those letters. Here, for example, I need two eyes. So I'm just gonna duplicate that one. 
and use all the ones that I need. I think something like that. And then board. Okay, something like this. I think it looks good. Now that I have my letters ready, I can just delete these ones. I won't need them. And now I can resize all of this together. And I can also, of course, cut it and bring it into the page where I need to go, which is this one. And then I'm just going to paste those uh, letters right here. And now I see it's a little too big, so I'm just going to make it a little bit smaller and place it here. So finally, we can start adding the images to my vision board. So I'm going to head and bring my photos app here side by side. And here are the photos that I have saved from Pinterest. So I'm going to tap and drag on one to onto my page and then I'm going to crop out what I need. So in this case, I just want this uh, colorful mat it represents a bunch of different things. So we are moving and so I'm going to set up a whole new room for my kids. Also, they are starting a different school. Actually, they're going to be in two different schools in the following year. So that's what this is for. Just to remind me, you know, I want to make it fun and smooth for them because there's a lot of changes coming. So I'm going to also duplicate this image and I'm going to crop out just a couple of rows like this. Let's see how that looks now i'm gonna tap and drag on this one too because there's a little nice colorful office here this is going to represent the fact that i'm trying to get a new job and i'm applying for that right now so hopefully i'll get it during that year whatever happens it's going to be a new office new lifestyle so that's what this image here is going to be representing I'm not sure how to add it something like that probably so this other image i'm going to crop it using the freehand option just to make it a little more fun and less square i'm just gonna crop out the little people here again this is an image of a school hopefully my kids will have a lot of fun in their new schools i love all these images these colorful images just literally popped on my instagram but i love them because i do want to have more creativity i want to release more products and create new things during the following year and i do have this image that i copied from a different app that i was saving somebody's painting really beautiful and i do have my healthy plate here as always i want to eat healthy i do it sometimes not always and i want to show you here if you tap and hold on the image you'll automatically be able to just select the image without the background that's like a feature of the photos app so i can just paste the plate without the background and I like that a lot and I do want this image too because I'm moving yet again and the place I'm going to has like a really nice hike that I hope I get to do often because I need to improve my ability to hike and run this is really hard I want to make like a circle shape and I never get it right that's close let's see something like this maybe that's not that terrible this is not easy honestly not to me to make any uh circle cropping but i think that works and now to complete some of the images i will just add a little outline and the outline hopefully will make it seem like my circle was perfect and i also want to add a white outline to my little plate here that should be easier because it's a circle already so i just have to make like a perfect circle on top of it and then bring this image to the front there now i'm gonna go back to my wonderful sticker book because i do want some of the shapes here from this page mm, let's see so i can just select some of these and then bring them onto the page and these are going to be like the backgrounds or the backings of where i will of the words that i want to be writing to describe what every one of these photos means so just adding them here i can also use them as backing for the existing photos for example here mm, let's see if i bring this photo to the front i should be able to use this uh, green one just as a background like that as a frame i think it looks really nice and just bring in a few more of these sticks this one here the stickers are so colorful and fun i love them oh i was forgetting this other image of some beautiful nails because i am such a disaster with my nails or have been and it is kind of a goal of mine to have beautiful nails especially for when i'm filming so i hope to do better this year and that's it now i can go and use my text tool to enter all of the headings or titles of each of these images and for that i'm just going to use my text tool click somewhere and then start writing what i want now i do have to update this font i'm going to use the roxana font gray color and then make it a little bit smaller center the text i don't know when you center the text it has to become a very big text box and i'm going to duplicate this 
and I'm gonna change the font just to make it more interesting to finish writing my sentence. So I write something else and then I can change the font. I'm gonna use Sabri this time, make it purple and bigger, and here we are. And I think I'm gonna change the font to Roxana Bold. Yeah, I like that better. And then this one a little bit bigger, like that. Now I can go to my lasso tool and turn off images just so that I don't accidentally select anything but my text boxes. And then I can just duplicate them and move on to my next box. So here I'm duplicating this one twice and I'm going to write something else. So as I said, my kids will be studying two different schools this coming year. Also, they need some like extra classes because they're studying like new subjects that they don't currently have. So I have to set all that up. Okay, and then duplicate this again. It is a goal of mine to maybe one day before I die, start to run. Not a lot. I don't expect to ever run a marathon, but you know, just run a little bit. The other time we were trying to think when was the last time I ran, and I think it had been something like 10 or 15 years. It's absolutely ridiculous. I do exercise, so I don't feel terrible, but I don't run. I just don't like it, don't do it. So, you know, I think it's a human skill kind of. So I do want to set it up as a goal. And again, I want to create new products I'll just adjust the text again and I think that my vision board is complete and this is what my finished vision board looks like I love how colorful it is and I really like that I'll have it available in my organizer so I can just come and look at it throughout the months and see if I'm going in the right direction Thank you so much for making it till the end of the video. I hope that you learned at least a couple of tips from watching me create my vision board and that you got some inspiration. If you did and you want to share your work with me, please tag me on Instagram at PrinceTigShop. I would love to see what you have created. Thank you for being here and I wish you a very prosperous 2025. Bye bye.